welcome back. Today we're going to look at finding the percent abundance of isotopes. And we can do that just by using an equation and the periodic table. Let's read this question. It says boron exists as two isotopes, boron 10 and boron 11. What is the percent abundance of each of these isotopes? So we're going to use our formula, average atomic mass, average atomic mass is equal to the total mass over the total number of atoms that we're looking at. So the average atomic mass, I can take straight from the periodic table. So find boron, and we see that the average mass of boron is 10.81. The number of atoms in my sample is going to be 100 because I'm dealing with percentages. So dealing with percentages, it's just easiest to assume that you have 100 atoms in your sample. And then the total mass, remember that total mass will be equal to the atomic mass of each sample times the percentage of each sample. And I'm working with two isotopes, so I should have my atomic mass times the percentage for both of those. Let's put all of this into the equation that we have. So 10.81 is equal to atomic mass times percentage over 100. I already know that the atomic masses I'm working with are 10 and 11. I just don't know what the percentage is. So I'm only solving for one variable, which is great. That means that I can introduce the variable of x. And you can choose any letter that you want to. Just I'm going to say that boron 10 is equal to x percent, because I don't know what that percentage is. And boron 11 is equal to 100 minus x. And I did 100 minus x because our percentages should equal up to 100 percent. So to find our total mass, we should multiply our atomic mass by the percentage. So boron 10 weighs 10 AMU. So this is the total mass here is 10 X. And for boron 11, I have to multiply my 11 into both of these factors. So 1100 minus 11 X. And to find the total mass, I'm gonna have to add these two together. So 10 X plus 1100 minus 11x, which is equal to 1100 minus x, because I have 10x minus 11x. And we can put this into our formula. We have 10.81 is equal to 1100 minus x over 100. And I want to get the x by itself, so I'm going to multiply the 100 to the other side. So 1081 equals 1100 minus x. I'm going to subtract 1100 from either side. So we have negative 19 equals negative x. Thankfully, I can get rid of that negative x is just equal to 19 because we can't have a negative percentage. Let's come back up and look. I set boron 10 equal to x. That means that boron 10 has a percent abundance of 19%. And boron 11, I set equal to 100 minus x, so I should have 100 minus 19. So boron 11 is equal to 81% abundance. And we can logically check this to make sure that we're on the right track. My average atomic mass is 10.81. And remember, the average atomic mass is not just the average between isotopes. If that were true, this would be 10.5, but it's the weighted average of the isotopes. My weighted average is closer to 11 than it is to 10, so my percent abundance of boron 11 should be higher than boron 10, and that is true. And that's just a logic check to make sure that we're on the right track. So boron 10's percent abundance is 19, and boron 11 is 81. I hope this was helpful. I will put a harder question up on my channel as well in case you're still struggling with this or just want some extra practice. Thank you so much for stopping by.